Hey y'all, it's your girl Tishonda Renee. I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm making meatloaf. But before we get started, I want to welcome you all back to the channel. If it's your first time here, please don't be a stranger. Click that subscribe button and join the family. Now on to the meatloaf. This recipe is super, super easy and it's really, really good. Um, I think anybody would be, be able to make it. The first thing you want to do is dump your peppers into your meat. And for this recipe, I'm using two pounds of ground turkey, um, about half of a small white onion. And I'm using about a fourth of a cup of ketchup. For my peppers, I mixed red, yellow, and green bell peppers. You can use any peppers of your choice. I'm using one pack of Lipton onion soup per pound of ground turkey. So you want to do the same one pack of Lipton onion soup per whichever, whatever meat you choose. Um, you want to fill the packet up with water and put that into the bowl. Then you want to start adding your different seasonings. The seasonings I use for this recipe are, um, I use thyme leaves, garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper, and soul food seasoning. I used about um, a teaspoon of each. Okay, to bind the meatloaf together, I used about a cup and a half of breadcrumbs and two eggs. And now on to the fun part. Um, you just want to use your hands. Do not use a spoon. Use your hands and just mix the mix everything together in the bowl. You can use gloves if you choose to. I don't. I just go right in with my hands. Um, that's how I was taught to do it. And so that's just what I do. But yeah, you, using gloves is totally fine. Okay, now I have the meat all mixed together. I'm gonna use a bread loaf to bake my meatloaf. Um, I'm gonna spray the pan with some Baker's Joy because I don't want my meatloaf to stick. So you just wanna go ahead and begin to scoop the meat into the pan. And once it's filled, just kinda pat it down on top um, to, to form your loaf.
Turkey doesn't take long to cook, so you want to bake your loaf for about 35 minutes on 350. Make sure to cover it before you put it in the oven. While my meatloaf is cooking, I'm gonna make a glaze for the top. I got this idea from Paula Dean, but this is not her recipe. I'm using ketchup, um, gray poupon, and some regular mustard, brown sugar, and Worcestershire sauce. After baking for 35 minutes, I took my meatloaf out. I'm pouring the glaze on top and kind of spread that around. And I'll bake for about 10 to 15 more minutes with the glaze on top. And here is my meatloaf all done and plated. I actually lost the footage of me taking the meatloaf out of the oven, so I don't have any footage of what the meatloaf looked like when I took it out of the oven, but there it is. I hope you'll give this recipe a try and I hope you enjoy it. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.